Life is too short. I don't know about you, but life, I believe, is short. And I do not want to spend my life and my time being around with negative people. Or crabby, grumpy, or grudgy people. They tend to make life miserable and I want to live a life of happiness. I want to live a quality life by being with quality people. So one of the ways of doing that is to limit my contact with negative people and to increase my contact with positive people to bring me joy and happiness. Time wasters. Spending time with a person that executes negative energy can be very draining and before you realize it, you're taking up the negative energies of that person too. And sometimes it can happen that you don't even realize that you have taken up such negative energy in the moment when you have realized you just start wishing you had known how to protect yourself from such negative energy negative feedback from negative people affect your thinking never allow people who give up on their dream convince you to give up on yours it's not only your enemies and haters that will discourage you but your own family and friends too. You are not a baby anymore. You are a man. You are a woman. You are strong. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your own decision. You are capable of making your own choices. And you are strong enough to handle the consequences if it is doesn't work out. You are big enough to handle any challenges that comes based on the decision that you make on your own. Dream Killer Many of us find it challenging to follow our dreams, our ideas, our desires to bring them to life. In fact, many of our dreams are killed and die before they are even born and made visible. So. There are many dream killers that we need to know, be aware of, and avoid. Know that everyone has dream killers and they are everywhere. In fact, they could be person close to you, like parents, grandparents, brother, spouse, or even your close friends. So, you need to learn to ignore them. To shut them down and to stand alone with your dream. So in the end, it is up to you to decide what kind of people you're going to be friends with and the kind of people you're going to spend your time with. I strongly recommend that if you have negative friends, you should end up the relationship. If you have negative family members, we should spend as little time with them as possible. I guarantee you that if you eliminate negative people from your life, you will be more successful, far more productive, and truly happy. As W. Clement Stone once said, there is little difference in people, but that little difference make a big difference.